Hello, welcome back. It's a Saturday morning here in Melbourne. It's not as hot as it was yesterday, thankfully. It was about uh, 30, I don't know, 37, 38. Just, you know, well up over 100 Fahrenheit, about 104, 5, whatever. And it's too hot for me. But um, So I had a slow start this morning, but it is still just this morning. And I thought, look, I've got a day of things I have to get done, so I thought I'd take you along with me. Haven't done that for a while. And it's a hazy sky day. I'm just looking out the window. And uh, that's from the fires that are burning. When I've got this, the wind is blowing it down over Melbourne from all over the uh, east coast of Australia. Uh, it's, it just keeps it right at the front of your mind, what's going on out there. It's not close to me, but we get the smoke. But then again, New Zealand is getting the smoke as well. It's, I think there's somebody said there's something like 14 million hectares of land has been burned so far and it's the beginning of our fire season. Right, with that cheerful little note, what have I got to do today? Well, I thought I'd go and have a look at a sale that I know is on for bed linen because oh, I think sometimes in summer I sort of need to be changing it a lot more because hot nights, uh, you know, you just want to get into a fresh clean bed every day. Not quite every day, but nearly. And uh, yeah, so I'm having culled mine right down I now sort of find myself wanting something a bit fresh and different for the new year so right now let's uh, go and have a look at the sale and see if there's anything that I would like to bring home so here we are this is where I'm going to Dares that sky as you can't tell but it's sort of hazy everything's hazy emptied up my soul you've heard it all before Honest, but I know uh -huh. Left these years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the void uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love when everything's said and done? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love when everything's said and done? Well, I probably shouldn't have, but you know, I have a big bag, I'll show you when I get home. But I might just pop into Kitchen Warehouse. Just to have a look, just to look. Oh god, do I really need to come in here? The answer is of course no. So this is what I ended up bringing back, just I'm not 100% sure about yet but I think it will work. I didn't bring this one home, he's been here, he's visiting until his owners come home, probably sometime today, we'll see, depend on the fires I think, whether or not they can get through from Sydney, hey, say hello, meow meow, Aslan, come on, there we go, let me see your pretty little face, right, so I have got a couple of these um, vintage washed linen well, that one's one and that one that one's the other one that almost ticking stripe and then just the same the plain pillowcases that match the duvet cover and this throw which is mm, it's nice sort of a gray it might be slight it's almost a bluey gray 
but since the charcoal on my bed is sort of a charcoal grey, I obviously haven't fluffed that one up properly, have I? No. We'll see how that one works. So these two are European size, the big square ones, and these are just standard pillowcases. Now the nice thing about this is that it is designed to not be ironed. And we all like that, don't we? It's meant to have that sort of rustic, wrinkled look about it, which I very much like. And you're going to eat it now, are you? So I'm going to try those out and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, there we are. It's sort of a trial run. I haven't washed them yet, so I can put them back and uh, take them and return them. I've just sort of put them on to see how I like it. I just wanted something to break up the same, same look which is because my bedroom is directly off the living space so well not living entry so it's quite in your face when you come in anyway not certain but just fluffing up this a bit I'm not sure if I can see I don't know if I can cope with the sort of the wrinkle well, I like the wrinkled look on the linen that doesn't worry me the wrinkled look on the throw is something else you know how everything has wrinkled throws thrown across them now? I don't look anywhere else. There's a huge pile of washing. I've just finished um, folding, sitting there. Hmm. Anyway, beautiful afternoon now. Sun is shining. Cool wind is blowing. It's rather nice. You can see the little cat paw prints as he's jumped across. But yes. Uh, let me think about it. I'll bet you know what I decide. And this is the other thing I got, which is a yogurt maker. And also does all sorts of fermented things, like um, kimchi and sauerkraut and anything else you want it to do. I looked at it before Christmas, and then I sort of thought about it a bit, and then decided I'd wait till the post-Christmas sales. So, hang on a minute, I'll just open it up. So what it is, is uh, just a little unit that makes, uh, keeps things warm for a specific period of time. It's got various settings. I'll try it out and show you when I do. So it has the main sort of unit. It's a bit like a slow cooker. Um, well, my Instant Pot, we've got sort of the inner and then the part that does the cooking. And then in here, this is, I presume, the bit for the yogurt because it strains it as well. Pass, don't know yet. But that's the container that the food goes in. I have made yogurt in the past. It's just a matter of keeping it at the right temperature for the right amount of time. That's the difficult thing. And I thought, look, if I don't use it, or if I try it a few times and I decide I'm not getting enough use out of it, then I'll send it back to Zambia with my son and his wife when they come over in the end of March for a quick holiday. Well, it's Sunday morning, and it's cool, and it's raining. It's actually raining, and that's like a miracle. Um, it's still hell out there in um, the areas where the fires are burning and today my kids, my kids, my son and his wife, commonly known as the kids, are on their way back from Sydney where they've been for the last two weeks and so they're out on the road at the moment. It looks like at the moment there's only one place that they're going to get detoured but the smoke's pretty bad. At the, you know, right through the Hume, that's the main road down from Sydney. So, yeah, I'm going to get busy because otherwise I'm just going to fret until they're back in Melbourne. And um, look, it's just one of those things that they have to get back for work. They've waited, they waited, they didn't drive yesterday when it was, you know, really bad and they needed to keep off the roads. Today, the weather here at least is blessedly cool, there's no wind and it's actually raining. Now, look, we'd need three weeks of rain, to solid rain, to even start to dampen down what's going on. But at least it's not windy, and at least it's not hot, and it's not dry. So those things are positives. <coughs> Excuse me, I sound like a frog, which means I need coffee, and then I'm going to start making some food. So I've had to put the lights on, it's so dark, and I'll make coffee, but... Please, if anybody is thinking of donating to our wildfire um, funds, these are the little ones that are missing out today and for the last week, and, and it will go on for the rest of the summer. We're losing our animals. They say that something like half a billion creatures have died. Uh, people have died as well, but half a billion creatures. And 
they have so many were already threatened and now they've been savaged and our sort of iconic things like our kookaburras are losing their habitat and the koala population has been decimated and these are just the ones that people know about and and sort of see as matter mattering but it, you know the lizards matter you know the snakes much as i'm not particularly fond of them myself they really matter so it's catastrophic i'm afraid it's it's as bad as the things that happened in the Amazon and we're not getting any better um, so here we are that's my coffee mug for today okay I have my coffee and I've just grabbed a few things out um, I'll just make some breakfast muffin -y things just because I've got eggs my eggs I've got 12 eggs I've got a couple of my jars, this is my sort of like, I don't know what to call it really, it's just that sweated down um, veggies that I do that are ready to then be pureed or do whatever I want to do with them to, uh, during the week. So those are a couple that, um, probably, you know, I've had them in the fridge for a couple of days. I've got some spring onions, some bacon, which I might pop in there, a bit of cheese, some ricotta, which always fills them up, and then I've got this ordinary muffin pans or cupcakes or muffins whatever you want so I better I'll just cut some uh, grease proof paper and just use those so I can pull them out when they're finished. Emptied up my soul you've heard it all before honest but I know uh -huh. look white eggs we don't normally have white eggs but these are happy grass fed wander around in the paddock eggs so I'm happy to use these So I'm just going to lightly fry off this bacon so that it's properly cooked and also I can then drain off any extra grease that's on it uh, before I put it into the muffin tins. Over here, I'm just going to chop up these spring onions. I'm going to use this little thing at Kmart. I mean, really, I wonder if it works. We'll see. Wow, does it ever? Look at that! Best couple of dollars I think I've ever spent. Amazing! Wow. Right now, I'll test it on my jar of vegetables. See if it works for them. <laughs> Yes, we don't need We don't need the past that don't last for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night, it was sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? So there we are, they're, they're in the oven, Oops. back in, up again, right, they're in the oven and my kids are in Victoria, so they're into the state, which is good, they're on the home stretch, it's one place they have to try and get past that may well be detour, a detour, but if that's the worst, that's very good. Okay, uh, they're in there for about 20 minutes, hey Google, set the timer for 20 minutes. There we go. There's a reason for having a home pod. Sure, 20 minutes and we're starting now. Yes. So that's organised, that's and now I've just got to clean up. Don't they look pretty? I'm just going to let them sit for a minute and they'll all settle down and they'll also keep cooking a little bit while I'm leaving them in the muffin tin just to finish off. But Lovely.
No. Well, it's been a bit of a rambly old vlog, but I will stop now and I'll go and edit this and get it up to you and see how the day goes. I'm still sort of in awe of the fact that it's raining. Well, it's stopped at the moment, but we've got more to come, which is pretty magical. Uh, the word out from my kids on the road is that it's just horrible out there. So they are on their way, nearly home, and I've got food waiting for them, which is always an important mother thing to do. So I hope that if you enjoy this sort of thing that you'll subscribe, come along, hit that notification bell because you know you get lost without it. And I hope that whatever you're doing today, you're having a lovely time and I will see you in the next one. Bye.